All right, grab your Bibles, turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 and 31. And this is what it says. For of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. In him we have been... Uh, our, our, he became for us the wisdom of God, righteousness, sanctification, redemption. That's all of, for us. So if you are in him, if you have accepted him as Lord and Savior, all of this is available to you right now today. It's your choice. You can choose that. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about the difference between self-righteousness and uh, God's righteousness. In self-righteousness, it's all based upon your performance. It's really Old Testament kind of stuff. So in other words, it says, do not kill, do not steal, do not this, do not that, do not that. And we were to live up to the law, and we all failed. The Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we all failed. So when we're dealing with self-righteousness, there is no, there's no hope for salvation right? But when we deal with God's righteousness, see, I became the righteousness of God in him. See, because of what Christ did, uh, it's now mine. Remember, it just said there, it says, but of him you are in Christ Jesus who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. So when you are in him, that's all available to you. So in other words, God looks at you through the finished work of Jesus Christ. He doesn't look at you based upon your own merits because once again, your performance fails every time, right? So we need to know self-righteousness is based upon uh, us and what we do. God's righteousness is a gift. The Bible says it's a gift. The righteousness of God is a gift and based upon him and what he's done. God's righteousness is a gift, um, but um, self-righteousness is a debt, uh, in other words, if you really could earn your salvation through, um, uh, through self-righteousness, it would become a debt because um, God would really owe you because you got saved by yourself. But when, when um, since we know we can't be saved by ourselves, it's through Jesus Christ, now... He gives us that. He gives us that gift of grace. He gives us that gift of righteousness. Does that make sense? He gives it to you. So you can't lose your righteousness. See, your righteousness belongs to you because it's a gift. It would be kind of like me giving you a million dollars. I, I come up to you and I say, hey, I just put a million dollars in your bank. What does that make you? It makes you a millionaire. Now, you may never touch the money. It may be in the bank. You may never go make a, 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 a withdrawal from it. Doesn't change the fact that you're still a, a millionaire, right? You're still a millionaire, but you don't benefit because you never draw from, from the, 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 the money out of the bank. Well, it's the same thing here. You've been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You can say that all you want to, but if you don't draw from that, if you don't say... I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You know, the Bible says in, in 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, yeah, chapter 15, verse 34, it says, Awake to righteousness and do not sin. In other words, if I wake awake to my righteousness or the righteousness that I've been made in Christ Jesus, then I'm more concerned about my relationship with God than I am about sin. In other words, I, I don't not sin because I'm not supposed to sin, but I don't sin because of my position in him. So then righteousness is based upon my position in him rather than based upon what I do right or wrong. Okay? And it's a free gift for me. I can't lose it. it, it even when I sin, I'm still the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Why? Because it's him, what he did, that accomplished that righteousness. And remember, it's a gift. It's, it, it's freely given to you. Um, so that way, again, you can't lose it. The problem is, you can uh, not believe. In other words, you can read it, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In fact, you can even say, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 
But if you don't actually see yourself like that, you'll never operate. It won't change your life. Uh, let me put it to you this way. Uh, um, my identity is in Christ Jesus, not in what I do. In, in the natural, it is. Somebody looks at you and let's say you, you're a pastor. Your identity is in what you do. But for me, as a Christian, my identity is in him. And that's how God looks at me. I am his righteousness because my identity is in him. My life is in him. So I'm more focused about my relationship with being in Christ than I am about sin. Therefore, sin has no place in my life. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.